All right, welcome to Math Grade 1. This video is going to be an overview of what's going to be covered in Math Grade 1 that your student is going to be uh, doing during the course of this class. And just to hit some of the highlights of what will be covered as they go through the uh, lessons, the different things that will be learned as we go along through this is we'll be counting the numbers 1 to 100, we'll be reading numbers in figures 1 to 100, We'll be writing numbers in figures 1 to 100. Uh, the student will understand and manipulate numbers of items up to 100. Uh, they'll be adding objects by sight using pictures and just visual things to uh, demonstrate numbers of objects and get the idea visually and with the manipulative objects of uh, the number of things. And we'll be adding numbers for sums up to 100, adding different number combinations. We'll be counting forward using addition. Uh, we'll be reviewing and mastering the addition facts for sums up to 20. We'll be subtracting objects by sight, kind of like how we will be doing that with uh, addition, adding objects by sight, using pictures and visual things. Uh, subtracting numbers 1 to 100. We'll be reviewing and mastering subtraction facts for sums to 19. And we'll be reviewing addition facts along the way. We'll be counting backwards using subtraction. This will be helping to train the student's ability to work with numbers easily and quickly so that they'll be ready to work with the higher levels of math. Uh, we'll be solving problems using addition and subtraction. We'll be working with units of measure, time, distance, and weight, and money. You'll see that all through the problems that we work in the course. And we'll also be looking at some simple shapes and even a little bit of the idea of fractions. They'll be seeing uh, problems where we'll actually be working with something uh, laying the foundation for fractions later on. Now those are the main points of uh, material we'll be covering. They, they kind of fall into some major areas of study that are covered in the course. The first one is going to be notation and that's where we'll be reading and writing the numbers and figures to 100. So notation is going to be an important uh, initial area that we'll be covering. A vocabulary which will be the number names that we'll be learning from 1 to 100. We'll be learning the names for each individual number along the way. Uh, we'll be counting objects on a one-to-one -one basis, one-to-one -one correspondence, and then also counting forwards and backwards by twos and threes and different multiples, again to just get better at working with numbers and manipulating them and getting ready for the higher levels that we'll be doing later. Addition, we'll be adding numbers with sums to 20, solving problems using those skills, uh, we'll be doing subtraction, which is going to be with sums to 19 and solving different problems using subtraction. We'll be working a little with measurement, as you see in the problems. We'll, again, time, distance, weight, different units of measure. Uh, we'll also be looking a little bit with clocks and calendars and rulers as we do the problems. Now, the main textbook we'll be working with is going to be Ray's New Primary Arithmetic. And that's going to be a book that you'll be able to download and print right from this website. And this is what the uh, inside cover page looks like, Ray's New Primary Arithmetic for Young Learners. That's going to be the one we'll be doing. All of our lessons are based on this textbook, the first part of it, for grade one. Now, if you know anything about Ray's, you know that it was very important in the history of our country, uh, America, during the early to middle 19th century into the uh, early 20th century. It was probably the most popular arithmetic book ever published, arithmetic textbook, uh, widely used. And it was during the time period that McGuffey's were uh, being used in schools and in home, home settings. And Dr. Ruth Beechick, a known education authority, has said that what McGuffey did for readers, Ray did for arithmetics. And as you work through Ray's arithmetic books, you'll see why they gained that enormous reputation for being very effective and easy to use and very very student friendly and child friendly for learning um, math uh, a lot of times by themselves they had to be out there on the frontier away from schools and they had to learn on their own and uh, Ray's is excellent for self-study courses like this one. Uh, another thing that Dr. Pichik uh, said was uh, to allay our fears that oh well gee this this seems like an old textbook series if it came out during the time that McGuffey's did, well, gee, isn't it kind of outdated, and can we still use them? Well, the answer to that question is obviously yes, because to this day, parents and teachers and students are all using McGuffey's readers to learn 
reading and writing, and they're using raised arithmetics uh, to learn the basics and the advanced levels of math. And so Dr. Bichik says that students who master these books are well prepared for any testing in higher education that they aspire to in today's world. So that's just to let you know that these books are just as rigorous and challenging and effective at teaching math today as they were when they were, as when they were first written. So with that in mind, uh, that's basically what Math Grade 1 covers. Uh, you can refer to the other introductory material on these pages here in this department to get started to give you an idea of how we're going to be covering math and how your student will be learning it and how we'll do this and how you as a teacher, as a parent, can be involved in helping this whole process uh, so that your child will get the most out of this math course. So with that in mind, let's get together and do some math. <laughs>